Hey friends, welcome back to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here today, if you are new and you like today's video, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. First of all, I want to thank you all so much for all of the love and support that you have shown on my recent videos that I've posted. I have had a couple of extra going on this month. Today's video though is a thrift video. I haven't taken you thrift shopping in a little while, so I thought that would be fun. We're actually going to go to a happy Habitat Restore. If you haven't heard of that, it is a part of Habitat for Humanity. People donate items there, anything from furniture to appliances, pretty much any kind of home good kind of thing. Um, and the money goes to support Habitat for Humanity. So I really love shopping there because I know my money is going to a good cause. And also you can find really good deals there for your home, building supplies, paint, uh, paint brushes, all sorts of things. So hopefully if you've never heard of that, I've never been to one, you can check it out in my video and see if there's one in your local area because there's a few around here. So I'm not sure if they're all across the United States or only in certain areas. Not really sure about that, but just do a Google search and you can find out if there's one near you. Today's video is sponsored by EarthBreeze. I'd like to thank them for continuing to support my channel. EarthBreeze makes laundry detergent eco sheets. These look a lot like a dryer sheet, but it's actually laundry detergent, which is really cool. I've been working with EarthBreeze for a while now. I've been using their products for, I don't know, maybe five or six months, I'd say, and I really love it. I'm still using it. Every time I wash clothes, I haven't bought any other kind of detergent since I started using this. It comes in this tiny little package. There are 30 sheets in a package, and it does up to 60 loads of laundry in this tiny little package. Not a big, huge, chunky jug that's heavy and taking up space all in your laundry room. Just need this little tiny, lightweight, package. I don't have a lot of space here and I don't have any storage in my laundry area. The only thing I keep there is a basket on top of my dryer that I keep my laundry supplies in. This thing slides right into my little basket. It doesn't take up all that space that the big jugs do or even the big containers of pods. I love that these little sheets provide a powerful clean. There's no mess. You know how a lot of times when you use liquid laundry detergent, it can get on your washing machine, drip down the side, or even leave like a residue on clothing. And I don't know why that is, but I have never had that happen with my Earth Breeze sheets. So this is what it looks like. It's just a tiny little rectangle. Looks a lot like a dryer sheet, but it's a little smaller. And this one sheet will do a whole load of laundry, a regular size load. If you have a small load, all you have to do, tear it in half, simple, and just use half of a sheet. If you have like a big, full, um, very soiled load of laundry, then you can use two sheets. These are also safe if you use septic tanks. I personally live out in the country. We have a septic tank, so I'm very happy about that as well. And not only that, but these also are hypoallergenic. They're dermatologist tested and they're safe for sensitive skin. They also have a fragrance free option if that's something that you're interested in. So your laundry sheets will dissolve in cold or hot water. They dissolve pretty quickly. I'm gonna show you in a bowl of water how fast that it dissolves. It's really cool. I really love working with brands who give back and Earth Breeze does just that. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but laundry detergent is one of the most requested items from most charities. And the great thing about Earth Breeze is that they give back to their communities. For every pack of Earth Breeze Eco Sheets that are sold, they donate 10 loads of laundry detergent to nonprofits, charities, and shelters, which is really great. With Earth Breeze, you get an eco-responsible laundry detergent that's delivered to your home they make it very simple for you to start your subscription. You just choose the scent that you want, choose your delivery date. It's a flexible delivery option. You can choose when you get your next batch and you can pause and cancel at any time. You're reducing waste just by switching to Earth Breeze. Did you know that over 700 million laundry detergent jugs are discarded every year? That's a lot. That's a lot of plastic that we're putting back out into the world. So if we can just switch one thing and make a difference, why not do it? 
especially when it's a great product like Earth Breeze. If you would like to get started with Earth Breeze, all you have to do is go to earthbreeze.com slash LBN. That's gonna get you started with 40% off of your subscription. Thank you again to my friends at Earth Breeze for sponsoring this video. As I said, we are headed off to the Habitat Restore. Ryan has actually never been thrift shopping, never been to a Habitat Restore or anything like that before. So I'm actually very excited to show him the ropes and he's looking for a few things for his home as well. So we'll see what we pick up today. We headed straight for the cabinet section when we got there. It was used as a fish tank holder. As a fish tank holder? Yeah, I mean, you use it as a cabinet, but it had a fish tank That's a good it. idea, actually. Right. We did find a couple of wall cabinets here. It's got the good doors on it, good springs. Mm, so. Yeah, but see, I need more of them. They really need to get them all at the same place so they match, you know? Oh, what is that? I guess it's kitchen cabinets. How? It curves around and you, how do you... <laughs> I don't know. That's confusing as hell. <laughs> I mean, it's all attached. How does it have a backside? Like, how does this work? I mean, where would you put it to where that would function? It's on both sides. There's, what? <laughs> so it's an island? I don't no, it's not an island. I don't know what it is. But that's how where would you put it to where you could utilize both sides? I don't know. We're trying to figure out this cabinet system here that's like, it's cabinets exactly the same, but on both sides. <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe, I don't know. I have no ideas <laughs> i want to find a use for it though now i want to find a use for it i want to put it somewhere you want to find a use for it i don't know i was thinking that these cabinets could be put in a bedroom closet and you could hang a rod below the top cabinet so like maybe a kid's closet if you have a big walk-in closet um i don't know i just thought that was an interesting idea to hang a rod there the clothes hang from it I always try to think about different ways you can use things other than what they're intended for. I found this bifold door and it has, like it doesn't look that big. I'm not sure if it would work for my hallway um, door or not, but my brother could probably cut it down because I know it's too tall. But I just wonder if it would look right if he cut it down because it's got this design in it. It really depends on how much you would have to cut off. But their doors are not expensive at all. It looks like they're $15. All of them $15? Um, yeah, glass in them, but oh, the glass ones, yeah. Correct. Yeah, but the 75 if you find what you want to do. And this one doesn't have any size on it. I mean, 15 bucks, it's worth a try. I could get it in my in my SUV. If you're needing a door or any kind of materials for your home, definitely check out a local Habitat Restore if you have one. I mean, they have like old doors. Y'all know I love old stuff and old doors. This old one is like definitely solid wood. It's 65. Um, but it would be really pretty refinished. You like which one? Oh yeah, you like that one. I don't know what the, is it solid too? Yeah. Yeah, it's solid wood. It says 79 by 29 and a half. The old plate on it that would have had a crystal knob maybe. <laughs> I like the crystal knobs. Well, they have a list here. Well, that's what I was saying. So it's probably. Oh, that's an exterior door. Be, yeah. So it's going to be more 65. 65. Okay. But still, that's not bad. I thought this fireplace mantle was really pretty. Um, I think it was a hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, ninety nine, ninety nine. So a hundred bucks. <laughs> That's pretty cheap. This piece definitely needed some work, but it was only twenty five dollars. They had several different shelving units, entertainment units, um, different kind of tables and things like that to choose from. That's different. You like it? Talk about heavy. Nope. 
<laughs> they had a bunch of different paints to choose from here and different colors i failed to get a clip of the price on those i'm not sure how much they are um but i did go back here and look at the paint brushes and things like that and the paint brushes were very affordable here i believe they were like a dollar 99 if i'm not mistaken this one the bigger ones were 3.99 and then the regular size ones were a dollar 99 which is a really great price for paintbrushes. I really love this piece here. I love the little keyholes in it. Y'all know I'm really into things like that. Um, I did open the drawer and the drawers were not, um, they weren't great. It was kind of weak, but I really did think this was a very pretty little piece. It was $74.99. The sink was really pretty. It kind of reminds me of the one that I have at home, but it was $500. Very expensive. And, you know, a lot of people aren't into the silver anymore. You could spray paint it black or gold or whatever color you want it. White? Yeah, for 16 bucks. Got faucets. 50 bucks. Got a bunch of different faucets. And they're Delta faucets. That's a good brand. How much is that one? 25. 25? That's a good deal. That's really nice. I like that. Yeah. You gotta think about things when you're out thrift shopping. You might not like the way it is like this, but you can always change it. You can spray paint it. You can put different kind of, um, what do you call those things? What do you call those things? Shades. 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 You can put different kind of shades on it um, and just change it up to make it what you want. So try to, for 25 bucks, like, yeah, I would, I would change out the, the shades myself. I don't really care for the white, but I mean, put some clear ones on there or something. It'll look great. Like this one right here. These shades are better than those down there. I don't really care for that yellowed one, but these are just frosted. And this one also is $25. Oh, no, they're 50% off. So, it's not even $25. Half of 25 is 12. <laughs> so, wow, for 15, 16, you know, over 20 bucks, you could do something pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. You just want to just buy it now, right? Yeah. Just come up with the idea later. <laughs> right. <laughs> come on. <laughs> this outdoor one. I actually need one of these. This one is 15. Now it's half off though, right? You can throw that in the car. He <laughs> said you throw that in the car. I don't know. 
this one here has the little like candle look to it with the little shades. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see some of that. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I like this one. And it's five dollars, y'all. For five bucks, yes. For sure. So I get to carry it. <laughs> Is it comfy? <laughs> it's uh, it's broken in. It's broken in. Oh my god! <laughs> you sink right I into sink it. sink right to the ground. <laughs> I don't know if I can get up. Uh, yeah, that's why I said, oh. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gonna try another one? That one's a little firmer. You get lost in the sauce back here. Lost in the sauce? Never heard that before. Ryan has been looking for a new coffee table and they had a few here to choose from and they were I think fifty percent off or 75%, I can't remember, but he did pick up one and I think we're gonna do a little DIY on it. We decided to take a break from the thrifting and go have some lunch. We went over to Chef's Market. I believe it's in Gallatin, Tennessee. Um, we really like this place. It is not the healthiest of choices, but it is so, so good. When you first go in, they have a lot of things you can look at and purchase if you're interested. It's set up sort of kind of like a cafeteria. You pick what items you want and they put it on your plate for you. The pot roast is where it's at, y'all. <laughs> I haven't tried all the other things. I've only, I've only tried the chicken other than the pot roast, but the pot roast is so good and juicy and just flavorful. We get it every time that we've been here. And we always have leftovers for dinner because they give you huge portions. I just highly recommend if you're ever in this area, go in and check it out. Really, really good. Someone to help me. I'm gonna need somebody to tell me. I'm gonna need someone. We also ran in this antique store in Goodlitzville, Tennessee. I'm not sure what the name of it was, but it was much bigger on the inside than it looked from the outside. It just went on and on and on and on. Ryan actually found a guitar. He was looking at one at a music store earlier and found the almost exact same one in even better condition at the antique store. I didn't get to film a lot inside of here because my battery actually died on my camera, but I did get a few clips to share with you. Um, there was a lot of great stuff in here. I enjoy just browsing and looking around. This place, you could probably spend all day in here. It, it's that big and so much to look at. Every corner is packed full of stuff. Hey guys, so I thought I would do a little thrift haul, not just from the Habitat Restore, but we went to a couple of other places as well. And then I also have a few things from an estate sale that I wanna share with you and just some other random things that I've picked up over the last few weeks that I haven't shared with you. So I just wanna say a couple of things about this estate sale. It was a estate sale for somebody very dear to me who passed away this past year. You've met my friend Kristen in some of my videos and she and I worked together at Remax in a local town for, I worked there I think like six years or something like that. But the sweet lady that we worked for, she was like a mentor slash mother figure slash friend. Like she, I can't really stress enough how important she was in my life during that time. You know, I was going through a lot at home with Timmy and his health and everything. And she was so so supportive, so kind. She worked my schedule out around his dialysis and, um, you know, she would tell me, you know, I was the office manager and, you know, she would say, everything will be fine here. You do what you need to do and come in when you can. You just don't, that's not a common thing, I don't believe, um, 
I was very blessed and very fortunate to have that job and to be working for her during that time of my life. That's, it's what I needed. I worked not even five minutes from home. She was just the kindest lady. She taught me a lot about kindness, about generosity, um, about how you should present yourself. Anyway, um, she had been sick for a while and we weren't aware of it and she passed away. It was a hard decision. My friend and I both didn't know if we should go to the estate sale, but the more I thought about it, the sadder it made me to think of her things going um, to strangers, you know? I know her family went through and picked out all the things that they wanted to keep, and obviously you can't keep everything that somebody owns, you know? And um, so I decided that I wanted to go. My um, Ryan went with me. And I picked up a few things that um, I really liked and things that um, I know that when I see them, when I look around my house and I see these things, it's going to remind me of her. And um, I love that. So I'm glad that I went. I'm glad I picked up a few things. So one thing that I picked up was this bracelet. It's got little pearls on it. And the reason why I picked this up is because Paula was a very classy lady. She always was dressed nice. She always had her makeup on and her hair done and um, her jewelry on. And she loved um, this jewelry with the pearls in it. She had so much of it. She gave me a couple of pieces for different occasions. And I definitely treasure those. But I love this little bracelet. It's made of cork. This braided part is cork, and then it has the little pearls on there. So every time I wear this, I'll think of her. So I'm glad that I found this. Um, I also picked up this clock. I really like this. I'm trying to decide where to put it. I want to put it in my kitchen somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. But I just thought this was really cute. I like how it hangs, and it can hang this way or this way. But um, it's really nice, so I'm definitely going to hang this up somewhere. And then I also picked up this basket that I thought was very pretty. And you may have seen on my Instagram that Rosie has already claimed this as her own. She lays in it all the time. Um, so I put her a little blanket in there. So I really like this. The only other thing that I picked up there was... Um, a wine stopper, which I gave to my friend Kristen, and um, some perfume that reminded me of her. It was just in a really pretty bottle, so I thought I would pick it up and keep it to display and remind me of her. Um, another thing that I picked up recently, this came from Goodwill. Um, it's been a while ago, but I don't think I ever showed it to you guys on here, but it is this really pretty cross. And I thought this would look good on my door for Easter. It's just really nice. It looks like they made it out of, I don't know, it almost looks like um, pallet wood that they just put together <clears throat> and then tied a bow around it with some greenery and a, um, a flower. I'm sure this wouldn't be that difficult to make if you're crafty. Another thing I picked up I got this at um, an antique store that Ryan and I went to the same day we went to the Habitat store. And this is the only thing that I picked up there. And it is this tray. I don't know if you remember, but in a video, a thrift video last year, I was looking for one of these. And I've been on the lookout for one ever since and I've never found one that I really liked. A lot of times it'll have like a cheap mirror on the inside of it, like not even really a mirror. It's like plastic that's supposed to be a mirror. But this one is really, it has a really nice mirror inside of it and it's pretty, it's a pretty gold color that I like. And the reason that I wanted this is because I'm going to put it on my counter in my bathroom and put my perfumes bottles on it. And that's going to look really pretty. I'm thinking I paid 12 for this though, if I'm not mistaken, which is a little high in my opinion, but I've been looking for one for so long and I didn't want to risk it. I wouldn't run across another one that I really like and that was in good condition like this, so I went ahead and picked it up. And let's see, I picked up also, I picked these up from Goodwill, I believe, 
and it's just some little white plates. They have little scallops around the edges like I like. Um, and these were $1.99 for four of them. And the only thing that I picked up from the Habitat Restore is this outdoor light for five bucks. You cannot beat that. But I needed one to put on the front of my house because the one out there is terrible. It's just hanging on, y'all. <laughs> hanging on with a prayer, man. <laughs> so hopefully um, I'll get this changed out this spring when it warms up. Very happy with this find. Ryan actually picked up... Um, the coffee table that you saw in the video we're gonna sand it down possibly put new legs on it we're not really sure because it's kind of low and he thought he might like it a little higher but he's still debating on that so I'm not sure if the legs will get changed or not but he's probably definitely gonna sand it down maybe restain it or paint it one or the other because it is scratched up on the top so I also went to a thrift store it had mostly clothes in Clarksville it's called City Thrift and I picked this shirt up. It says love on it and it says love across the back. I picked up these little booties that I thought were so cute and they were basically new. Um, but they have a little zipper on the side. I didn't have any like this so I love these. They were five bucks. They look like brand new like on the inside and everything. They don't look like they've even been worn. I don't know if you can see like that um and then i also picked up these tennis shoes that were brand new and these are actually clark's they're cloud steppers um they have these little sparkles on the side but it still had the new sticker on the bottom so they weren't worn at all and i paid eight dollars for these so there's that and then I picked up this really cute little dress at Goodwill one day. Um, I thought it would be pretty this spring. Y'all know I love pink. And it's a light pink with some darker pink um, flowers in it. All right, my friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you consider giving me a thumbs up, that really helps my channel. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and therefore they will continue to share it with other people as well. We're very close to 50,000 subscribers here on this channel, which is crazy to me. If you'd have told me when I first made my first video that I would have 50,000 subscribers. I would have thought you were absolutely crazy. Um, you know, this was like a dream of mine. Like I, I wanted, I wanted to have a successful YouTube channel and I, I believe with all my heart that God has blessed this channel and I'm just so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for you guys. I just can't imagine what my life would be like right now if I didn't have this career, basically. I mean, it's hard to think of YouTube as a career, but this is my job and I love it. I love being able to make videos that people enjoy. I love reading the comments and how positive and uplifting you guys are um it really truly means a lot to me and you know my family reads the comments my friends read the comments ryan now reads the comments and you know to to experience it through his eyes somebody who hasn't been around for the whole um you know the whole thing the last couple years with youtube you know, it's a whole new thing to him. He doesn't, he never really knew how it worked as far as doing this as a job and having a YouTube community. So it's kind of blown him away um, how nice everyone is and how many comments that I get on there uh, from so many kind people from all over, not just this country, but all over the world. Um, it really is mind blowing if you sit and think about it. Um, and the other day he said to me, he's like, we have a lot of people praying for us and, um, that's, 
that's a big deal. It's a really big deal. So, thank you all so much. I, um, I'm just very appreciative. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.